Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just this morning, somebody emailed me wanting to know how to do a, a silhouette of the Statue of Liberty. And just uh, for the viewer that sent that to me, your image did not come through. Uh, I could see it on my phone, but for some reason I couldn't see it on the computer. So I just went and got a, a black large file. This was 1344 by 1920. And I double click on it. And it brings it up, and then I left click, copy, I go back to Corel, and I left click, paste, and it puts it in the center of the page. I've already got a, I'm going to delete that one, I've got it right here. And as you can see, it's a clip art, and it's got some jagged edges, and it's got a white background. So then you just take it and go to bitmap and resample it, but it's already at 300, so that's fine. Just cancel out. Go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, black and white, put OK. Go to trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art, reduce bitmap. This will take just a second. When it's done, and it's removing most of the background color. Press OK. Your copy should always be on top. And you can see how it's it's not a box anymore. So we'll delete our original clip art and we'll bring our Statue of Liberty in there. But you can see it's got some white background still between the arms and the spikes or the crown of her head. So click on your image, go up to object, group, ungroup. And instead of clicking on those two white ones, just move your black. Your white is still there. Select them, and there's evidently some more there. Now, looking at it, it's a little bit off. So let's click on our image and go left click, right click. And the image that I could see on the phone actually has some more tiers. You could add those very easily, but you can kind of see that these need to be lines. So take your shape tool and just delete these inner nodes. Take these two and select them, right click, line, and it creates a line. Take these, you could probably always take all three of these, line, right click, line. Now you can see they're a little bit off. There's a number of ways you can do this, and probably the easiest, and I'm going to do both of them, would just be to bring down a Index lining, if you have snap to object, it'll snap to it. Let's zoom in here. Take your shape tool. Put your nudge factor pretty low. And just cursor down. You've got to be clicked on that node till it's highlighted. And just cursor down till it's relatively even. We'll do the same thing over here. This one's a little bit higher. So we'll grab our shape tool and we'll go ahead and move it down so each side will be equal. We'll take this one and move it down till it's equal. And if, if you were worried about these not being equal, the best way to do that is to hold down, select that node, hold down the shift key, select that node, and go right up to align nodes. We're going to align them vertically, and it brought it perpendicular to the other one. And you could play around with it if you wanted to add another tier. Very easily done. Uh, just make a rectangle. You can use your virtual segment delete key. That added another tier. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in. And there is your silhouette of a Statue of Liberty. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.